Alrighty, here we are. We got another tin bags to open here. See if we get... Well, there you go. There's the fish hat. F fish hat? Fishing hat. This one we actually didn't need. Um, we, uh, this was just a... Because, you know, it's a cosmetic... It's a cloth item, so we can't learn it. But, uh, this is technically, like, best in slot for fishing. So, um, there you go. It's not too bad. I would, I did want to get it, um, along with the, uh, jeweled fishing pole, which is what we actually still need. Is that, oh, that's like a gold. That's not too bad. Oh, ho, ho, there it is. The jeweled fishing pole. That's everything now. Um, we, we're, we're done with the dailies. Huh. Well, there you go. I, I mean, uh, we're done with, not with the dailies. We're done with the fishing dailies, I should say. I should say. Now, this isn't like, um... As, as for percentage odds, if anyone's curious, I think it's like a couple percentage chance on each item. Like a 3%, something like that. Maybe a little less. So... In reality, we got pretty lucky to be able to get the bone fishing pole, the pet, the jeweled fishing pole, and the fishing hat. Not to mention, we also got two additional pets. So we actually got extremely lucky on the fishing stuff here. But, um, yeah, so we have the jeweled fishing pole versus the, uh, well, the bone. Which one do we think looks better? I think I like the jeweled fishing pole better. And then we have the fishing hat. Oh, man. We're ready to go. Isn't that nice? But, uh, yeah. So, we'll keep the jeweled fishing pole equipped. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me mess up here. Put that back on, and then we'll throw the fishing hat and the bone fishing pole right here. So, uh, the weather beaten fishing hat is collected too. Now we have plus five fishing skill, uh, wherever next time we have to do fishing. And trust me, we still have fishing to do, so that's pretty nice. Uh, it also gives us the ability to gain an additional seven fishing with the lure ability. It's not bad, I mean, this is definitely going to help in the future. I I'm just, I'm still surprised. We got both of them. Um, got a couple other appearances here. We got this hunting cloak. We've had that before. At Truncheon, this was actually bought in Westburg Garrison. I happened to be in there looking at the vendors selling stuff after grinding leather. Mm. And uh, I noticed uh, that in there. There's the Sears cape. Uh, this is that uh, spiked club. This is what I uh, deleted on accident that one day. Um, I went ahead and item restored it. I forgot all about that in the moment. But yeah, I went ahead and item restored it. So we get that. We got its appearance. Uh, and then we got the wood chopper, which is just an axe. But yeah, so uh, from now on, you won't see any of the fishing. Um, you won't see me any open any more of those bags. Uh, at this point, it'll just be. Uh, I'll still be doing them. I still need experience. I'm getting close to 50 for the uh, heirloom or for the heritage armor quest line, uh, and that's the max level I gotta be for. Uh, Elwyn. There's nothing left. And, uh, we're at 224 cooking skill. So tomorrow we'll be doing the last little bit of our cooking. Um, while we wait on, of course, the actual dailies to max this out and everything. But yeah, I mean, that's... Fi technically now you could say fishing is 100% done, but more so the fishing daily is 100% done. You know, we've, uh, that actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, there we go. Have a good one. Alrighty, here we are. Turning in our cooking daily. And this will put us at, boom, expert cook. Also level to 48 at the same time. But that puts us at exactly, um, I don't know what to spend that point on. I'll look at that. That puts us at exactly 225, which means we can learn both of these Dark Moon Feasts.
we can make the fancy dark moon feast and we can also make the what is it? this one's a money loss this one is a this one is actually the best thing to make for money but where's the other one there it is extra fancy dark moon feast why does it say i can only make okay whatever yeah so we want to make these and we want to use all our fish unless it goes uh gray but i doubt it'll go gray i know it won't go gray in fact it'd be impossible to go gray i think it goes yellow at 235 and then it goes uh green at like 250 something No, that's wrong. Maybe it's 240. It goes yellow. I don't remember. Nope. Still orange, huh? Maybe I should have fished some more, huh? Uh, this doesn't really matter. Yeah, there. It's yellow now. This puts us at 246. This uh, 10% stores and you'll become increasing versatility cannot be consumed above level 50 well i will be above level 50 here soon so we will just sell this for money oh that gives us a little bit more inventory space there three spots and let's go put and that's uh that's going to put us at 246 cooking which means we need uh 54 54 more points so that's 54 ish dailies minus a couple for cooking skill at the same time, we have 47 more awards to get, minus a couple because of daily. So, yeah, I mean, it come out to about exactly where I kind of wanted it to be, where, uh, you know, we don't really waste a ton of time, like maxing our fish, our cooking, and then we need more awards. It's they're pretty close, and it just depends on what sets of dailies they give us. But uh, with that, we are. Ooh, that's one more gold done. The only thing left is cataclysm cooking. However much we can do with that. Uh, I will say I've been doing a little bit more research and it looks like recently they changed in a patch. Um, I'm not going to do this yet. I'm, we're going to wait until we actually have it done. Uh, they changed it in a patch where this no longer gives cataclysm meat. Instead it gives like classic level meat. And if that's the case then... Um, we can't level Cataclysm cooking. So we'll only be able to have like 15 or something like that <clears throat> from the uh, cocoa, like from the espressos that we can make. So if that's the case, I mean, that means our journey is pretty much over uh, as soon as we hit the 100 awards and the 300 cooking. I think 300 cooking is going to be the second one we hit. But uh, yeah. But it's a very good spot. Have a good one. Okay, so uh, I did a little bit more research, and uh, as you could have seen there, I got a light hide in Elwyn. And yes, you can get light hides from the Long Snout mob. There's like six of them. They spawn on this coastline. This is the only place they spawn, and they were actually the highest level, highest level beast in Elwyn. Thus, they actually are high enough to drop light hides. Which means I can get light hides, which actually doesn't increase our grind. It means we're not done with leatherworking. But it doesn't make the grind too, too bad. We can make cured light hides, but still can't make any of this. Can't make that. Can't make either of those. Can't make any of this stuff, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's only one thing we can make. Can't make these. Can't make you. Nope. 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 There it is. These. We can make the light leather and the light scale pants. Takes ten leather and one cured hide per. Can't make any of this. And that's it. This will put us to 155. I'm pretty sure is when this grays out. So, we'll need to add an additional little bit of light leather and light hide grinding. 
Um, and unfortunately, this is not nearly an efficient farm as previously, but since we only have to do five skill ups, it won't be the worst thing ever. I only have to grind out the long snouts until I get about 15 light hides for average chance to level it up. Um, and then I can go back and do uh, the way more efficient stone scale bores, stone hide bores, whatever they are, farm to get just the leather. I just need to kill the long snouts, long snouts for the hides. But this is where we'll be, so uh, we can scratch off that we finished leather working because we didn't. Thankfully, it's not much more. That's that's the only <laughs> nice thing. A lot of the stuff that requires light hides also requires like medium leather. That's the only only reason that this grind isn't horrendously bad. Um, and also, it doesn't even mean we necessarily wasted any uh, resources. The only thing is we would have been grinding long snouts from the beginning until we got the hides necessary. But like, we wouldn't. Have, I don't think we would have used hides to make the leather working grind simpler. I mean, maybe. There might have been some stuff that was slightly cheaper, but like it would have been. You're asking a lot because these get, getting these light hides is kind of going really far out of your way from efficient leather grinding. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna try and get these uh, light hides, and uh, y'all have a good one. Alrighty, here we are. I got my. Fr uh, leather working well my skinning grind I guess technically done here grinded 15 hides and 150 light leather that's uh, the amount needed to make uh, well not the amount <laughs> to make it it's you know it's the average amount of uh, it's the percentage odds that this is what we're gonna need to get to 155 I mean we're at 150 we're right there. We It's five levels. I mean, not saying that's going to be easy, but, you know, shouldn't be, oh, it, it shouldn't be as, it's not going to be as bad as it had been before. Right, so it's the, I think the light scale pants we want to make. Yeah. So go ahead and buy five fine thread. We moved up to fine thread now. So, you know, we're up one tier on the thread. Along with the light hides being added. Hey, there's one skill point. That's pretty good. We got four more to go. So four fun thread. Ten more crafts. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. This is what ha I mean, this is uh, the classic leveling up in uh, green. There's a second skill point, 152. That's pretty good, pretty good. So uh, we're definitely going to have to at least grind a little bit more because we can only make two. So even if both of these gave a skill up, we would have had to grind. But uh, yeah, so we only got two out of 15. <laughs> Odds are we should have got all five, but you know, that is uh, fine. Uh, what we're going to actually do here is I know I'm going to need fine thread for some... Probably the level up in leather working. And I'll probably need salt too. So we're actually just going to buy a stack of 20 of these. And basically we're going to craft the pants while we're out in the field. Because there's actually nothing that requires us to be here. So uh, I'm just going to craft these as I get um, hides and stuff. Because farming the long snouts for leather and the hides is not really efficient. But, uh, this is actually the last leather, well, not the last, last leather, we'll have a little bit extra, but I've already sent the medium leather over for the copper swords, we might need more from that, but it's a, the amount, on average, that we'll need is already sent over, um, but we'll need some leather for the engineering and stuff like that, but we're gonna have the thread and the salt on us, and we're gonna actually craft... The pants while we're out there um and hopefully get it done relatively soon three more skill points and then leather working is actually done this time instead of being fake done so uh yeah have a good one
Alrighty, we're back again. I went ahead, I grinded up some more hides and leather, so we're gonna go ahead and try and get uh, a couple more levels here. We need three skill points, and we'll be done. I grabbed nine hides, and we should have uh, enough leather to make these. I think we want to make the scale pants, correct? I'll, one day I might remember that. So we can make nine of these pants. Let's see how many skill ups we can get out of this. We only need uh, three, so, you know, each point is, you know, 30% of our journey. Uh -huh. And uh, we got zero. So, you know, uh, that's the, the classic of uh, leveling through green. Uh, nine crafts, zero skill points. So, um, yeah, I got to do this again. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I've got more skill ups to do. Oh. Sell all this garbage. Uh, also, while, while we're here, uh, not that, uh, here, uh, we actually did hit 225 uh, in skinning. Uh, for some reason, at like past level 20, uh, you only get five points of skill per level up instead of 10 so 225 is max currently i don't know how that's going to end up working i don't know if i need tougher mobs per level like to get like more skill points like can i still grind to 250 if i could grind medium leather for instance or do i have to go to 30 to be able to grind to 3 and i don't know how it works but um yeah anyway have a good one Alrighty, we're back once again i've gathered nine more hides uh, I also figured out that just this vendor axe was actually better than the club I was using so uh, but we now have a b better weapon <laughs> so you know we got that going for us uh, so this will give us uh, nine more crafts on the pants um, and after this we would have to go get more thread and more salt Means that we'd have to go back to Stormwind next time we want to craft these. Um, if we have to craft any more, that is. Hey, skill up! Look at that. That's already way better off than we were last time. So, uh, out of nine, we at least got one skill up. So, you know. Two skill ups! One more skill up. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. In fact, so much so that we have two thread and two salt left. I'm going to use. I'm going to get two more hides. And try and just knock, uh, try see if we can get it instead of going. I normally would go for three, uh, you know, it's a thirty percent chance, so on, so on. But uh, in this predicament, I will try and just do the um, the last two salt and thread I have. And if I don't get it with that, then I'll get three more. We'll head back to Stormwind. We'll try that. But um, yeah, two more skill ups. So we've crafted a total of eighteen plus fifteen, thirty three pants and got four skill points so you know not the greatest of odds uh but at the same time not the worst right it's a one out of 15 drop chance uh, one out of 15 chance because each one's around a one and a three hey someone just crafted another legendary there you go um so that means like more likely odds is closer to 30 to 40 crafts so i mean we're not we're kind of like in the right ballpark but uh, i'll grab two more light hides real quick take me you know a little bit of time a couple spawns that's the worst part you gotta wait on the spawns on these long snouts there's five long snouts at all of elwyn by the way um they spawn right here there's one that spawns here one that spawns here one that spawns over here on this little hill there's a young forest bear i always kill right here and then two spawn down there one there one spawns like here and one spawns there so uh, i have to and since there's only so there's so few kills I have to sit here and wait for them to spawn. Now, the other nice thing is that they can drop um, two light leather instead of one. Uh, and I think they always drop two ruined leather scraps if they drop leather scraps. They can't just drop one. I might be wrong about that. But um, you farm leather slightly faster than if they were normal boars, like the other boars I've killed. But uh, 
it's slower because of the hyper spot. But you see, we've gathered another 503 chunks of boar meat, some boar ribs, 46 bear meat. I've killed two wolves. I, I was, uh, yeah, that wolf meat just come from, I went over here to kill mangy wolves while I was waiting at the beginning. I was like, well, you know, why wait? I can go kill them for more leather and stuff. But, uh, this is a waste of time because there's like a couple wolves that spawn nearby. You kill them, it's still not enough time. So it's better just to wait. Anyway, I'm going to get these hides and uh, we'll be back. Have a good one. Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, it took a lot longer than I expected to get two more uh, light hides. Uh, like quite a while, in fact. But uh, this will be the this is the last stuff we have on us to actually be able to craft while we're here. Um, after this, we'll have to go back to Stormwind, but we don't have to. Oh, the last craft! Wow. So it took uh, exactly 20 crafts after the original 15. I bought. Tw <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I should have bought less stuff. I probably would have had to craft less. But yeah, I bought exactly 20 thread and 20 salt, and it took 20 crafts to get the remaining three skill points so that's pretty funny um but on this note i'm gonna go ahead and start hearthing we'll go through the leather working again just to show off that now that we have access to light hides and light leather um that there's nothing left to craft and in the midst of grinding all these light hides um i also did get another pattern from stockades which is that right there but uh, in the midst of grinding all this light hide, I grinded enough light leather to for that I'll need for engineering. Uh, and I also got enough for, I already made the medium leather, as I've shown before, for um, the blacksmithing grind. So this is the barbaric gloves. We got that from stockades. It's one extra little uh, craft, so uh, we don't count the leather. We can't get heavy hides, can't get heavy leather, medium, 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 heavy, medium, 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 heavy, heavy, medium, 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 whoops, whoops, good lord, medium hide, don't have access to that, medium leather, heavy, medium, medium, heavy, medium. Just like that, we actually, this time, actually have leather working done. I'm going to see, if, I think there's probably at least one new pattern I can learn. Uh, so we'll go see if we can pick up any new patterns here. Yeah, we get the heavy scale pants. They require heavy leather, so yet again, can't actually craft them, but it is one more pattern. Uh, I will go ahead and mail off my excess uh, stuff here. It's probably not worth, like, two like it, it's a money loss for me to mail this stringy wolf meat funny enough to uh my main character to cook it but we need this go ahead and send him that and all the meat uh yeah and then we will need to send scope maker i'm doing exactly a hundred small sephorium charges um that's what i decided on uh it's should open up most of our lock boxes and at least, it, basically what that does is it should almost, it should guarantee, or at least be very close to guaranteeing we hit 160 off the charges, um, which then means we only need 10 skill points to, this, to making the blunder, bless, blunder buses, or boomsticks, I think it's lovingly crafted boomstick is what we gotta craft. We gotta get it to 170, and we, so that would be 10 skill points through those. Um, and it... Oh, man, we're gonna have one ruined leather scrap left, huh? I might clean this up by the time we go to, uh, um, like when we roll our next zone. But for right now, you know, I might need more leather, so I'm not going to fully clean my inventory out. Because you never know. Uh, but yeah, we actually have a second profession done. So fishing and leather working are done at this. <laughs> oh, wait, funny enough. I just hit 26, which would mean 230 is max, so I'm not done. I still have to get more skinning, so I'll have to go knock out um, four more skinning levels real quick. That's probably what I'll do right after this, uh, and that'll be skinning done as well, because I'm definitely not going to level up again on this character in this zone. So skinning, leatherworking, and fishing are done, leaving us with just engineering, blacksmithing, and cooking. So half of the professions will be done, 
So that's a pretty good spot to be. Also, by the way, I got a journeyman's backpack from killing the boars. So an, another crazy little thing you can learn there. Uh, that you can get the... I forgot, yeah, you can send that. Yeah, you can get a journeyman's backpack just from mobs in Elwyn. So that was pretty cool to see. Uh, whoops. But yeah, I, I can't believe it, but we have actually... Uh, we are actually finished with leatherworking now. Check scope maker real quick, see if we can buy any bronze tubes. Because now this is the annoying grind, is that I have to just constantly keep logging on and checking every so often if any bronze tubes are available. And coarse blasting powder, though I'm almost done with the coarse blasting powder because it has a much shorter respawn, or, respawn time. And nope, nothing. We're at 30 bronze tubes exactly, 176 coarse blasting powder. We're going to go to 200 coarse blasting powder, which will be exactly what we need. I, I had one light leather on this guy. doesn't matter. But that will allow us to do the show it off while I'm here. Small sephorium charge. I'll have to buy water, but that's not that bad, big of a deal. Uh, this will get us all the way to 160. It's green, but, you know, we're crafting. We only need 12 levels, and we're crafting 100 of these anyway, so... We should be good, and then we got to do these, which will also be green, but we only got to do t 10 levels. We have plenty of Masagots. We nearly have 200 of them. Um, the bronze tubes is the real limiting factor here. We can only craft 15 of them, so it's kind of rough. The biggest thing that we have left to do, though, is Tiger's Eye. We're at... We actually have 27... Uh, we have 27, because one's in the mailbox. That's right. Um... And on average, we're going to need 90. Well, on drop rate, we're going to need 90. So realistically, it's probably more like 180, which is a lot of tiger's eye. But now that leatherworking's done, and once I finish skinning, the only grinds I have left are the daily grind of the dailies and stockades, checking the vendor for bronze tubes and stuff. And then once we get engineering done, like once I get 60 bronze tubes, I'm going to try and get engineering done. Once engineering's done, all I have left is blacksmithing and cooking. Cooking is completely limited by dailies, and blacksmithing is limited by my tiger's eye. So it'd just be mining. I'm going to be mining a lot. <laughs> it's not going to be as bad as I make it sound. Uh, while we're here, though, I'm going to learn these patterns. I've been holding on to them. I was going to wait till we did the uh, actual engineering grind, but we're sitting here. So shadow goggles. We can't, we're not going to make these because uh, it requires medium leather. And then uh, Moonsight Rifle, We, if we had access to gizmos, we could actually make this. That would be rough because uh, it requires even more tubes. <laughs> and it goes all the way to like 180 or something. So uh, this would be quite rough to, be, uh, to have to craft because it requires an extra tube. Everything is all about these tubes. I mean, this, this is the same case if we had access to gizmos and silver bars. Um, it just really sucks that you can buy bronze tubes. Because if you could craft them, they're nothing. You know, like, it, I mean, it's a lot of mining, but it's, at least it's just simple mining, you know? Uh, but anyway, y'all have a good one. And I'll be back. Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, this is kind of a spur of the moment thing, because I hit 50. Uh, I was, uh, doing mining, as you can see. Mine two tigers eye so far. Pretty good. Pretty good trip so far. Uh, but I wasn't paying attention to my experience. I expected to hit this tomorrow when I did the dailies, but um, clearly I should have been paying attention. Uh, so with level 50, this will unlock. Uh, this actually unlocked at 48, by the way. Uh, this was already unlocked. That's uh, before 50, but yet again, we can't do Shadowlands. I mean, we might be able to do that quest. There's a couple quests we gotta, you know, s clean up around Elwyn that we can actually do, like... A lot of these you gotta actually talk and turn in and stuff like that. But this should unlock the Heritage Armor questline, but I don't know where that starts. I assume somewhere in Stormwind. I probably have to log out and log back in. But uh, we'll end up doing that here soon. Uh, this was just to... So you're there for the 50. I mean, literally just got it through mining. But uh, yeah, with level 50, that's the level requirement done. Uh, there's nothing else in Elwyn that requires higher than level 50 pretty sure someone can correct me if I'm wrong but pretty sure heritage armor was the highest level requirement so with that 
we are we're get, yet again getting close to uh, you know we're not we're checking them goals off it's it's looking pretty good have a good one